Hi, this is Ali Arango of Little Guy CGI, and today I would like to show you how to re topologize a human male character body mesh in Blender 2.79. So let's get started. If this is your first time in Blender, I recommend you go to File, User Preferences, go to Input, and then choose Select with left click. Blender's default select is with right click, and this may confuse you if you're coming from Adobe programs or other 3D programs. Also, while you're in here, go to add ons, put a check mark next to 3D view colon 3D navigation, then scroll down. Then put a check mark next to mesh colon normal tools, mesh colon edit tools, uh, two. Mesh colon F2, mesh colon inset polygon, mesh colon loop tools, as well as mesh colon relax. Scroll down more. Then put a check mark next to Pi menu colon 3D viewport Pi menus. Also put a check mark next to Pi menu UI Pi menu official. Okay, in Blender to uh, maneuver your view around, if you hold the middle mouse button, you can maneuver your view. Uh, if you hold shift and the middle mouse button, you can pan your view. If you roll the mouse wheel in, you can zoom in or roll it the other direction. You can zoom out. If you look to your left, there are uh, tabs right here. If you click on the display tab, there's a bunch of tabs right here. Clicking these tabs will also allow you to manipulate your view inside of Blender. Okay, what you see in front of you is the result of a few other tutorials that I've done on this channel. I'll put links up here so that you can get to those tutorials. What we want to do today is we want to re-topologize the uh, body for this male character mesh. Uh, basically, if you're like, what is re-topology? Typically on this channel, most of the tutorials that I've done until this point have dealt with box modeling. Box modeling is a way that you can build up characters from a cube. Uh, recently, I have pushed more in the direction of sculpting. When you sculpt, you have more freedom than with box modeling. However, the price of that freedom is uh, when you are finished sculpting, you tend to have a very uh, dense or high geometry mesh if you're working on a character so to work with that mesh you have to basically lower down the geometry of uh, that character mesh and one of the ways you can do that is by retopologizing that character mesh so uh, in another tutorial i showed you how to retopologize uh, the head of this character in this tutorial we're going to work on retopologizing retopologizing the body of this character mesh. Okay, I had to mention to you about the density of uh, the geometry from something that's sculpted. So I currently have this body uh, clicked on right here. I'm gonna click here and then click here to go to edit mode. So when you look here, you can see the density of just how much geometry there is here. So now I'm gonna click here, then click here to go back to object mode. Okay, I'm gonna click on the uh, retopology work that's been done so far. Uh, let me actually click here. This is a pivot point option. I'm gonna click here and change this just back to its uh, default pivot point. Okay, so currently we're clicked on uh, the work that was done so far. We wanna extend this down uh, over the rest of the body. So currently we're in object mode. When you first come into Blender, you come into Blender in object mode so we're gonna click here and then go into edit mode so we're now in edit mode for the retopology uh, work that has been done before so the first thing we need to do is we need to get this neck as far as the geometry even right here because the neck right here goes like that then it kind of comes up and goes over we need to have this be pretty much straight right here so that's what we're going to do right now okay to make this geometry a little bit easier to work with i'm going to click here 
then click here to go to object mode. I'm then going to click here, click new. I'm going to click here and change this color to a bluish color just so it looks different from uh, our sculpted mesh right here. So with this currently selected, I'm now going to click here, then click here to go back to edit mode. Rolling my mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm holding shift in the middle mouse button to pan, rolling the mouse wheel to zoom in more. And right now I'm just thinking, you know, what is the... quickest and easiest way to get this done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click here. I'm going to hold control while holding control. I'm going to left click here. I'm going to press. I'm about to after I turn our snapping options back on. Uh, let me explain this to you. Okay, so as far as uh, doing the retopology uh, for the body, the way that this works is we pretty much just put geometry over the sculpt, right? To do that, we have snapping objects, options in Blender that we use. So when we click here, this magnet basically uh, snaps this geometry that we just put this blue material on to the sculpted geometry. And then when we have this button clicked here, this, long story short, just uh, makes this work better. So with this turned on and this option here selected, and now with this geometry selected, we uh, are going to extrude this and just extend this down here. So in Blender, we can select geometry by selecting uh, vertices, edges, as well as faces from these buttons right here. So with this geometry selected, I'm going to press E to extrude, oops, I'm going to press E to extrude, right click to get that geometry to stay in place. And now I'm just taking this manipulator and pulling that geometry out like this. So now with this geometry like this and with vertice vertex select on, I'm going to click here, click here, click here, and then press uh F to fill in that geometry. I'm then going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold the mouse button to rotate the view. So I'm like, okay, what is the best way to uh, set this up here? Um, I think what I'm going to do is click here, hold shift, then click here. I'm going to hold alt while holding alt. I'm going to press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to select at last. So basically, when you are retopologizing uh, something in Blender, you pretty much want to shoot to have quad faces. And when a quad face is basically a uh, polygon that has four vertices to make up that polygon. So when we look here, we can see one, two, three, four. So this is you know, nicely set up for us to go. So with that done, and with this already selected, we're going to hold shift while holding shift, left click here, here as well as here. I'm going to let go of shift and press F to fill in that geometry. I'm now going to press A to deselect. Okay, I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. It's a little difficult to see uh, our geometry here. So what we can do is we can left click here. See these options here? We can put a check mark right here for x-ray. Now this brings up its own uh, issues because because we have x-ray we can clearly see our geometry but we can actually you know see through to the other side so what we're going to do is just i'm just holding the mouse button just to give an angle so i can work more easily with this so i'm going to left click here hold control when i hold control and then i right click like i just did basically i've just let go of control so when i right click i uh ex extend or extrude another uh vertex so now you can see we have these four vertices right here. So I'm going to hold shift, click here, then press F to fill. And then I'm going to press A to deselect. So now I'm going to left click here. I'm holding the middle mouse button just to get the view so I don't see the uh, other geometry. I'm going to right click here. And I right clicked here. I didn't want to go to the center line 
point right here. Basically, we have a, a, what's called a mirror modifier on here. That allows us to essentially do half of the amount of work that we normally would have to do. Uh, for those of, of, of you that uh, are more familiar with mirror modifiers, I uh, extrude it here just short of the mirror modifier line because sometimes I have issues. So now that I can see it's there, now I'll push that towards the mirror modifier side of this. Now I'll hold shift and click here, here, as well as here while holding shift and press F to fill in that geometry. I'll now press A to deselect. Okay, I'm gonna hold them in a mouse button to rotate the view. I'm gonna roll the mouse button to zoom back. Taking a look, we wanna make sure that we have uh, this taken care of, this muscle. So basically, this basically runs, you know, uh, up kind of behind the ear. So what I'm doing right now is I'm thinking, where do I want to grab from? Once we, uh, you know, go more towards the body. As you're doing this uh, retopology stuff, uh, people have different ways of doing it. I am, um, this is my way and, you know, adding things to it as I move along. Uh, see this face right here? This is the retopologized face. However, this is a face that has very low geometry in it. This face right here can be used with something called a normal map that will allow you to have the look of more geometry than this face actually has. What we're going to do before we move on to actually doing more work uh, uh, retopologizing the body is we're going to left click here. We're then going to click here to go back to object mode. So you can see the face here. So it's got some of the uh, geometry of the original mesh, but uh, you can't see much of it. So I was looking at other retopology work that people have done, and what they tend to do is they have a lot of geometry in the face, and uh, that's even you know without modifiers being on the geometry. Modifiers are things that assist you in modeling, uh, basically. So what we're going to do is, with our mesh selected, we're going to click on our modifier uh, button here. So now we can see we have a mirror modifier on this, as well as a shrink wrap modifier. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. What that does is that's a modifier that basically adds geometry to your, your mesh. So we're going to do that so we can have more detail from the original sculpt. So put this in your mind here, which you can see here, and then just uh, look at what happens once we put this subdivision surface modifier on. So we're going to left click right here. We're then going to left click on subdivision surface. So now we have that modifier here. And if you look here, you can see, yeah, you know, there's, it's a little sharper, the geometry. However, what we want to do is move this subdivision surface modifier above this shrink wrap modifier. So see these uh, triangles right here? We can move this up above the shrink wrap modifier and watch what happens. So we're going to just left click. And now when we did that, you can see that a lot more of the detail of the sculpted mesh is coming through. So with this done, when you look at this view right here, uh, the subdivision surface modifier doesn't actually add geometry to your mesh until you click the apply button. So these views right here, where it says view, we can click this and take this up to two. When I clicked it, you can see there's even more geometry here. Uh, what we're going to do is keep this view at one, and then we're about to apply this. When you work with a subdivision surface modifier, as far as applying the subdivision surface modifier, be careful because remember, you're doing your retopology to lower down your geometry count. So uh, be careful about not, be careful about having the view be too high and unnecessarily raising that uh, geometry count up. Uh, so long story short, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, apply these. So 
what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go to our mirror modifier. I'm going to click here to take that off. And now I want these modifiers to look just how they look here. And one of the easier ways to do that is to uh, click here on object, go to convert to, and even though this isn't a, isn't a you know a curve, this will give us those modifiers as they look applied. Sometimes when you apply them, you lose the look that you currently see in the uh, viewport. So we're gonna left click there so now we have these uh you know those modifiers applied there so now with them applied we're going to click here on tools there's a thing that is great in blender 2.79 which is called the auto mirror we're just going to left click oh okay didn't I must have tried to apply it there. So I have this selected now. So now we're going to click Auto Mirror. Here we go. Okay. There we go. So Auto Mirror automatically put the mirror modifier on. So I'm going to press A to deselect. This is new, me showing my face here. Uh, a lot of times, if I made a mistake, I would uh, go and edit it. So it's, uh, I guess you'll see some more. Some people, I don't know. May want to see that some people might get frustrated. Whatever. Let me know what you think about me having you know, myself on the camera. If you guys you know like that or not. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel in. I'm gonna zoom here. What the heck? Huh. Oh, I see. Okay, so this applied the auto mirror. Okay. So if you click this and you put auto mirror on, it's automatically applied, which we don't want. I'm going to, we have a mirror, we had a mirror modifier, I had this, I didn't know that this would apply. So I'm going to click auto mirror. So now we have the mirror modifier back. This mirror modifier is very useful because it essentially allows you to do basically half of the amount of work that you normally would want to do. I'm going to press A to select those vertices right there. I'm looking at the lip being split right here. I'm going to zoom in so you can see that. I'm going to left click there push that towards itself. Then I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to press A to deselect. We can see a similar thing right here. I'm going to left click, push that towards itself right there, and then press A to deselect. Okay, I'm going to hold shift in the shift in the mouse button to uh, pan up. What we want to do is have geometry come down here. This muscle tends to run uh, behind the uh, back of the neck, so I'm looking for what edges I want to grab. Holding the middle mouse button to rotate. Okay, I'm gonna left click here. Click here, hold shift. While holding shift, I'm clicking here as well as here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm holding the middle mouse button, right? We have these snapping options on, so we're about to right click. When we right click, we're gonna extrude this geometry down just simply by right clicking. However, before you do that, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have an, uh, uh, for lack of a better way, a clear angle to, to see, because you've had to be careful when you have this snapping tool turned on. So I am kind of getting a, a, a view that I think is not going to cause issues with this snapping tool. So I'm going to hold shift as well as the middle mouse button to pan up. I'm now holding control. I'm now going to right click right there. So now we have our extruded geometry. We're gonna push up. I didn't want that. This is uh, connecting right here because we have this clipping option right here. I'm gonna take away that check mark. Now I can pull this away. We wanna push this up some. I'm gonna press S to scale. Push that over. See this right here? It's kind of what I was talking about. Let me let's see if we can fix this. I'm gonna click here, click here. Sometimes things happen. Okay, so that wasn't too much. Okay, so with that, 
then we're going to press A to deselect. We're going to click here, click here, hold shift, then click here as well as here. So I let go of shift. So now with these uh, three edges here, uh, we want to reduce the geometry coming down out of uh, the head portion of our mesh. So the way we can do that is we kind of like come down and then basically extrude the geometry towards itself. So I'm going to hold control and then right click. And now we have this new extrusion here. So now we're just going to, we're about to push this towards itself. We need to click here to turn this clipping back on. There we go. I'm going to click here, hold shift and click here, here. Pull that up. Okay, now we're going to press A to deselect. We need some loop cuts right here, so we're going to hold control. While holding control, I'm going to press R. Then I'm going to roll the mouse wheel. I'm trying to think if I want. Yeah, I think that's what I want. So I'm going to left click once, and then left click a second time to lock that in. I'm going to press A to deselect. Now we need to fill in this geometry here. So we're going to left click. We're currently on edge select. I'm going to hold shift and click here. I'm going to press E to extrude. I'm then going to right click to get that extrusion to stay in place. I'm then going to push like that. What I'm doing now is I'm looking right here to see how many cuts we need to match up. I'm going to roll in. To zoom in, so we have one, two, three, four faces here. So I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold control while holding control. I'm going to press R. I'm going to go one, two, three. So then I'm looking up. One, two. I'll roll again. So now I'm going to left click once, left click again to lock that in. Now I'm going to press. A to deselect. I'm going to click one. This manipulator is going to get in the way, so I'm going to click here to temporarily turn off the manipulator. Now I'm going to hold shift two, three, four. Now I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, so now I let go of shift. I was holding shift to select those different edges. Now I'm going to hold control. While holding control, I'm going to press E. This brings up our edges menu, and then we're going to go to bridge edge loop. So I'm going to left click. So now we have that geometry there filled in. I'm going to press A to deselect. And now I'm going to click here. Okay, let's see, we have this here. So I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hover here, hold control. While holding control, press R. I'm going to left click. Because I left click one time, I can move this geometry. I'm going to move that up. I'm going to left click to lock that in. I'm going to click here, hold shift. Press F to fill that in. Click here. Bring back the manipulator by clicking there. Click here, hold shift. And press F to fill that. And then I'll press A to deselect. So we have this geometry here. We need to fill in this. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to bring this geometry down in a very similar way how we kind of brought this down and pushed this towards itself. That's what we're going to do here. So we're going to make sure we're on vertex select. We're going to left click here. We're going to hold control. So then we're going to right click. I'm going to let go of control because I can... It looks like our manipulator is going to get in the way, so I think it, I can see that it's about to do that. So I'm going to click here to turn off the manipulator. I'm going to hold control. I'm then going to right click. I'm going to turn that manipulator back on, push this towards itself. Now 
Now I'm gonna hold control while holding control. I'm gonna press R. I'm gonna left click because I left click one time. I can slide this. Uh, 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 my brain loop cut. So I'll move this here. I'm gonna left click there. So now I'm gonna press A to deselect. We can see our four vertices here. So I'm gonna hold shift. This is in the way. I'll let go shift. Click here. Press F to fill that. Here's our four vertices right there. So holding shift. Now I'll press F to fill that in. So now we'll click here, hold control. Pretty much do the same thing. Click here to turn this back on. Push that towards itself. Click here to turn that off. Click here. Hold, hold shift to select all them. I'll press F. I'll grab these four vertices there and then press F, press A to deselect. I rolled the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'll click here, hold control, click here, then click here. Click here, push that towards itself, press A to deselect. I'll click here, hold shift, click here, press F. Go back to holding shift. Let go of shift, press F, press A to deselect, I'll click here, right click here, let go of control, click here, hold control, right click, click here to bring this back, push this towards itself, click here, click there, press F to fill, click here. F to fill and now I'll just click here and then press F to fill that so now I'll press A to deselect okay I'm gonna zoom back here I want to give credit to UIW 3d animation and game designs where I learned a lot of these uh, techniques from okay what we're gonna do now is we're gonna click here we're then going to click shrink wrap and these are the options for our, our shrink wrap modifier see where it says uh, target right here we can take this eyedropper and then just click here and basically what the shrink wrap modifier is going to do is it's going to cause our read topologize geometry to stick in a more 3d way i guess i would say to our sculpted mesh so uh, see how this looks here to not see that we can click here. Okay, what we're gonna do now is roll the mouse wheel to zoom back. I'm gonna hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. We wanna have a loop that comes. I'm gonna hold shift and the middle mouse button to pan, hold the middle mouse button to rotate. We wanna have a loop that like kind of comes down around and goes up here. So we're gonna left click here to go to edge select. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna hold shift while holding shift. I'm gonna press D that duplicated the edge. I'm going to pull this here. I'll press G. I'm going to press R to rotate. And I'm just thinking I'm going to have this form a loop that's going to help define uh, this muscle here. So I'm going to hold control and then right click. And I'm right clicking. I held the middle mouse button rotate. I'm holding control again. And hold, I let go of control when I hold shift them in the mouse button pan, hold them in the mouse button rotate. I'm gonna hold control, still holding control. I'm gonna right click, right click again. I let go of control. I'm holding them in the mouse button. I rotated the view just so that this, uh, or mainly so that this x ray wouldn't get in our way. So now I'm just coming up as I'm extruding, I'm paying attention to. Uh, the size of these actual spaces. I don't want them to be too small because remember One of the main goals of this uh, uh, Retopology process is to have less jet geometry. So we want to be careful of how much Detail we're putting in so I'm holding them in the mouse button rotate this uh, shading will deal with this uh, in in 3d programs you have something called normals normals are basically the direction that your polygons face uh, Blender lets us know that most likely our normals are not facing the correct direction by letting us see this kind of strange shading that we see here. 
I'm holding them in a mouse button just to get a better view of this right here. And I basically want to come up and have this meet here. So I'm going to hold control. I'm going to right click while holding control. I'm going to let go of control. Now I'm going to hold shift while holding shift. I'm going to left click there. I'm then going to press F to uh, you know, have this be a connected loop right there. Now I'm going to press A to deselect. While over this, I'm going to press, I'm going to go to face select. I'm going to, I'm going to press L. And then with this select, when I pressed L, I just selected this entire piece of this particular connected mesh. I'm going to hold control and while holding control, press N. And, and when I did that, you can see that our shading looks normal now. And what control N does is it recalculates the normals. So again, normals are the uh, direction that polygons face. So now our normals should be good. Okay, I'm holding the middle mouse button to rotate. I'm looking here. I'm going to click here to go to vertex select. And then I'm going to click here and push that vertice, that vertex towards itself. See, I listen in the comments. I listen. Uh, okay. What I want right here is I want three edges to come down here, right? So because I know that I want three. What I am going to do is see this face right here. I'm going to hover here. I'm going to hold control while holding control. I'm going to press R and then I'm going to left click. And I just, you know, put a loop cut right there. So now I'm going to take these edges and connect these here. So I have my three edges there, right? So how am I going to do that? I'm going to left click here, go to edge select. I'm going to click here, hold shift and click here. I'm going to hold shift click here as well as here I'm gonna let go of shift I'm now gonna hold control while holding control I'm gonna press E uh, this brings up our edges menu I'm then gonna select bridge edge loops so now we have that connected there so now I'm gonna press A to deselect I'm gonna hold them in the mouse button to rotate the view and basically what we want to do is grab these edges we're gonna extrude down we're gonna pay attention to right here 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 so we want to have this, I just rolled the mouse with a zoom back. We want to have this be easy to, uh, you know, uh, connect the geometry to here. So with face select on, edge select on, edge select, not face select. We're going to click here. The manipulator is most likely going to get in the way. So I'm going to click here to temporarily turn that away. I'm going to hold shift. While holding shift, I'm clicking here as well as here. So what we're going to do is hold control. We're going to right click here. The reason I'm let go of control. The reason why we right clicked is because we know that there's a vertex right here, right? So with this here, we want this to fit here. So we're going to press S to scale. Then we're going to left click to lock that scale in. We're not going to be too concerned right now about the, this mirror. This should be easy to work with. Um, eh. We'll click here. We'll push this towards the mirror modifier. So now I'm holding control. So I'm looking right here. There's a vertex right there. So I'm holding control and right clicking. I'm pushing this. Okay, I'm pulling it. And I'm going to press S to scale. I'm doing that just so this fits right here. I'm looking right here. I'm going to hold control. And now I'm going to pull so the you know mirror is okay I'm going to be careful as I push in because I don't want to cross this geometry over with the mirror geometry I'm going to press S to scale left click I'm going to hold shift and the middle mouse button to pan I'm going to roll the mouse button to zoom in I'm going to hold control and then right click here pull to the side I'm going to press S to scale, push this down, roll the mouse wheel to zoom back. I'm going to hold control, then right click right here. And I'm going to push this towards itself. I'm going to press A to deselect.
Okay, I'm gonna hold shift and middle mouse button. Try to hold I'm holding shift and the mouse button. Pan. Now I'm gonna click here to go to vertex select. I'm gonna left click here, hold shift, and then while holding shift, click there. I'm now gonna hold alt while holding alt, I'm gonna press in. This brings up our merge menu. I'm then gonna select at last. I'm gonna zoom in, hold shift as well as the middle mouse button to pan. Roll the mouse wheel to zoom in more. I'm gonna click here, hold shift. And click here. I let go of shift. I'm going to hold alt while holding alt. I'm going to press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to select at last. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold shift and middle mouse button to pan. Holding shift and middle mouse button to pan. Moving that up more. I'm going to click here. Hold shift while holding shift and clicking here. I'm going to let go of shift. Hold alt while holding alt. Press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to choose at last. I'm going to hold shift and the middle mouse button to pan, I'm going to zoom in, press A to deselect, click here, not there, I'm going to press A to deselect, click here. The manipulator is most likely going to get in the way, so I'm going to click here to temporarily take it out of the way. I'm going to hold shift. While holding shift, I'm going to click here, then I'm going to hold alt while holding alt, press M. This brings up our merge menu, I'm going to select at last, I'm going to press A to deselect, I'm going to hold shift and the middle mouse button. And now I'm going to left click here, hold shift while holding shift, click here, then hold alt while holding alt, press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm then going to select at last. Then I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay, I'm going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom back. Holding shift and then the mouse button to pan. And as far as the uh, the actual vertices themselves, we can adjust these. As a matter of fact, we press C, like right here. We'll paint those vertices. We'll just then click. We'll roll scroll there. We'll scroll up. We'll press uh, smooth vertex, and you can see just by doing that. Right click to get out of. We can make these uh, vertexes work a little bit better. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to press C for paint select. Paint select allows you to select vertices. So I right click to get out of paint select. Now I'm just clicking smooth vertex and it smooths these vertexes. Vertices out, not vertexes. Oh man. Okay. Now I'm just looking here. And something we can also do to make sure that this is right, let's press A to select. Okay, we have a vertex select, so we're gonna press A to select everything. We're gonna press W to bring up our specials menu. We're then gonna select remove doubles. And we remove one vertex. I'm smiling because when I removed the uh, one vertex, Blender was like removed one vertices. So I know it's, I know that's not right. So anyway, um, this is kind of interesting here. When we have a th see this right here, how this looks kind of strange. What we can do is click here to temporarily take away the uh, mirror modifier. And then adjust our vertices here. So now I can, you know, just by doing that, we were able to deal with that right there. I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay, now we need to fill in this geometry here. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom back, hold the mouse button to rotate. Blender makes this fairly easy for us. So we're going to click here to go to edge select. We're going to hold alt while holding alt. We're going to left click here. We're then going to hold control while holding control. We're going to press F. This brings up our faces menu. We're then going to choose grid fill and Blender did that automatically for us. Now when I hold the middle mouse button, see how this is sunken in kind of? I'm trying to Rotate this so you can see that. So what we can do is we can make the snapping 
work as well as the uh, shrink wrap. I guess more so the shrap. I guess both of them by pressing G and then just left clicking. And now you can see like now this geometry is snapping to our sculpted mesh underneath. So now I'm going to press A to deselect. Just taking a look. And now my basic philosophy with, uh, yeah, my current philosophy with retopology is uh, to get the basics in here and then come back and do more work. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to vertex select. We're going to left click on this vertex here. We're going to hold shift while holding shift. We're going to press D. We're then going to right click. We have this one vertex right here. I'll bring this down like this. We're going to go, we're going to hold control. We're going to right click two, three, four, letting go of control so I can rotate the view. I'm now holding control again, five, And I'm looking at the space is what I'm doing. That's as I'm counting, I'm looking at how much geometry do we have here? One, two, three, four, five edges. I think I'm gonna take this up to eight, six, seven, eight. Now, if you're sitting there like, well, this geometry doesn't match here uh, because these are, are less, we can adjust that. You know, uh, I want to, you know, get the basics in here. So with this here, what we can do is hold control while holding control, press L. That let us select all of this geometry right here. So now we're going to hold shift, then press D. We're then going to right click. We duplicated that geometry, even though it doesn't look like we did anything. I'm holding the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Now I'm taking the manipulator to pull the duplicated geometry up like this. Now I'm gonna press S to scale, pushing this over. And I'm basically trying to push this over to dodge that shoulder area there. I'm gonna hold control then press L again. So I'm gonna press a to deselect. I'm going to click here. I'm now going to hold Alt. While holding Alt, I'm going to press the O key. This turned on our connected proportional editing tool. I'm now going to press G. And what the connected proportional editing tool does is it grabs what you have selected and lets you move the edges, vertices, and faces that are connected to what you just grabbed. Uh, along with what you just grabbed. So I'm going to press G. Oops. Okay. Press G there. And because it, there's a, a proportional editing tool and connected proportional editing tool, because I selected the connected by holding alt instead of the proportional, when I rolled the mouse wheel, that's what I did to expand the uh, area of influence. I rolled the mouse wheel. You can roll it, it being the mouse wheel to expand it one way and roll it the other way to, to, uh, decrease the area of influence. Uh, the connected proportional editing tool only grabs or tries to work with what you currently have selected. So now I'm clicking here. I'm going to press O. When I pressed O, this went to the proportional editing tool. I'm going to press O to go to uh, where we have the proportional editing tool totally turned off. So with that turned off, I'm going to hover here, press L over here, then press L. We know that these two edges are the same as how many edges they have. These, uh, you know, uh, lines of edges. We know that they're the same because this is a duplicate of this. So because of that, what we can do is with these both selected, I'm holding control now. And while holding control, I'm going to press E. This brings up our edges menu. We're just going to select bridge edge loops. So now these match, you know, uh, nicely there. So then as far as uh, having that now, 
now what we're going to do is we are going to press A to deselect. I'm going to click here, hold control, and then left click right here. I'm zooming to get a better view. I'm going to press E to extrude and pull like this. I'm trying to be careful to watch. I'm going to press S to scale. Like that, I left clicked. I'm going to turn this clipping off. I'm going to grab this vertex right here and pull that like that. Now I'm going to left click here, hold control. Uh, just got but the snapping tool is making these a uh, bunch up some. So what I'm doing now is I'm just taking this snapping, I'm taking the vertices and just pushing them out. Now I'm gonna left click here, hold control while holding control, left click here. I'm gonna hold the middle mouse button, rotate, I'm gonna push this down. Just gotta be careful. What do you have to be careful of? The snapping tool making your uh, vertices act strange. I'm going to zoom back. I'm going to click here to go to object mode. I'm going to click here on this other piece of mesh. And then I'm going to press M. This brings up our move to layer. And then I'm going to click here to move that piece of geometry away. I'm now going to click here back on uh, the uh, retopology mesh that we're working on. And then I'm going to left click here and then left click here to go back to edit mode. So now I'm going to push down. Do this a little bit like that. I'm going to left click here. I'm going to hold shift in the middle mouse button to pan. We're on the mouse button to zoom in. There we go. I was looking for that because the snapping tool has it, it being our geometry somewhat bunched up. Okay, so why am I doing this? I'm doing this because by doing this, our geometry will be even along here. So now with the geometry like this, we want to be careful of our snapping tool. As a matter of fact, we'll click here to turn our clipping back on. We'll click here to turn our mirror modifier off. Now that we have this geometry evenly matched up, what we'll do is hold control while holding control, press R, and then we'll roll our mouse wheel. So I put four edge loops in there. I'll then left click. left click again and we can we can deal with that as a matter of fact with this selected let's click smooth vertex there we go okay so now what we're going to do is press a to deselect we're going to hold control while holding control press r and roll to put more edge loops here so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll left click and then left click again to lock those uh, edge loops in. Then we'll click smooth vertex. Click here. So this geometry now is even here. So now we'll click here to turn our mirror modifier back on. I'm going to go to edge select, hold alt, and then click here. I'll let go of alt now. Okay, with this edge selected, I'm going to press E to extrude right click and then push this that didn't extrude i'm gonna hold control then press r then left click left click to lock that in place press a to deselect hold them in the mouse button to rotate the view i'm 
pull in the middle mouse button to take a look. What we can do is left click here. I'm going to click here, turn off x-ray, and then I'm going to hold control and then um, right click. Right click, hold the middle mouse button to rotate, right click. thinking and looking at the same time. Okay, I'm going to hold control. Uh, left click here, hold control. There we go. Holding control. Basically trying to dodge that. Hold the middle mouse button to rotate. So what we're doing with this is basically trying to get um, the work in place so that we can go back and do more detail later on. So right here, what we want to do is I'm thinking how many edges do I want here? We want geometry to come here and meet in the center here. So we're on edge select, I'm going to click here, I'm going to right click here, right click here, and then right click there. Push that geometry towards itself there. I'm going to click here, pull this to the side. And I think what I want to do is press A to D select. We're going to click here to go to vertex select. I'm going to left click here, hold control, and then I'm going to right click, right click, and then right click. I'm going to click here. This is very similar to what we did before. I'm holding shift. I'm going to press F. Clicking here, holding shift. Shift allows me to select more than one vertice. I'm going to press F. I just held shift and I pressed F, press A to D select. Here pretty much the same thing, I'm holding control. I'm going to click here, holding shift and press F, click here, and press F, zoom in, I'm going to click here. Press F, press A to deselect. We need four phases here. See this right here? One, two, three, four, five. So what we'll do is we'll hold control, press R. Yeah, we'll do this. Let me show you this. I'm going to click here. So watch this. I click here, right? I want it four vertices. So now I, I fill this in, right? So I wasn't sure if I wanted to have that extra geometry. However, uh, watch this. So we have this here. And sometimes you'll see things and you'll do the wrong thing. So I put another right here. We have all of that extra geometry that I don't particularly want, at least not right now. 
So we, we have that in there, right? We have all that. Well, what we can do is once we have that, we can uh, go to edge select, hold alt, then click here. And then because we were holding alt, we selected that entire loop. Then what we can do is we can press X to bring up our delete menu. Then we can choose dissolve edges. So now we got rid of that edge loop right there. So I'm gonna turn our x-ray back on. So yeah, we have a geometry where we think it's too much. We can uh, take it out. So I'm holding the middle mouse button, just taking a look. Okay, I'm gonna hold, hold shift and the middle mouse button to pan. Zoom in, let's connect this. Uh, we can go back, uh, like I was saying before, and uh, clean this up. So my thought process is let's get done the main work. And then we can go back later. So I'm going to click here, hold shift, click here. I'm going to press F to fill that. Then I'm going to press A to deselect and fold the mouse wheel to zoom back. Now I'm going to go to vertex select. I'm going to click here, hold control, then right click. I'm going to let go of control, click here. Now I'm going to hold control, then click here. Now I'm going to let go of control, hold shift, and click here, then press F. And what I want is a loop that's going to go around here. So what I'm doing is I'm rotating the view so that the X mirror modifier doesn't confuse me. Uh, now I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to click here, click here. And now what I'm doing here is I'm kind of letting go of control. I'm kind of just looking at the size of this. And I'm looking at this muscle here, circular shape. So I'm, I'm trying to be careful that I, I'm rotating the view to try to like get this part out of the way. Uh, holding control. And I know I can adjust these things later. I know I want this to connect here in a full loop. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna press V. When you press V, you separate. So this is separated now, right? I did that because I wanted to click here. I'm gonna press R to rotate. here, hold control and click here. I'll press F to scale. Click here, press R. I'll hold control, now I'll hold shift and click here, then I'll press F. Now I'm gonna go to vertex select. Adjust these now that the when I find that once the shape is there, it's much easier to uh, adjust after. So, like if you get it in, it being the shape, and it's not necessarily the best looking thing right then and there, you can come back. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button, rotate the view. I'll shift in the mouse button, pan. I'm going to click, I'm going to get the edge select. I'm going to click here, hold shift. Selected those three edge loops right there. I'm going to turn off this x ray. I'm going to Oh, 
right click push that geometry towards itself click here to turn x-ray back on I'm going to press A to deselect I'm going to hold control while holding control press R I'm going to roll the mouse wheel I'm looking to see you know not too much geometry but a decent size now I'm going to left click left click again to lock that in this is all bunched up here right so I'm going to click here to go to uh, face select I'll select this geometry here I'll right click then I'll go to smooth vertex let's press G there we go when we press G this snapped to our geometry so we did get this right here so we'll click here Oh, see that it did that it being blender because of our snapping so what we can do is turn this off and then click here turn our shrink wrap off Pushing this in back towards where it kind of was originally. I'm going to hold shift on the mouse button to pan. Then, what we can do is like get it in that where it should be on the body, then click this, press G, and then we'll see like it'll have moved itself kind of back. Then we can turn this back off again. So that we can uh, arrange this in a way that's uh, not particularly difficult. So what I did there, I couldn't see it here, so I it being the vertex so I've rotated here I saw it there and now I can push that down now they're during general where they should be we can turn these options back on and let them help us instead of uh, make it more difficult for us. Uh, right there, I'll right click. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna left click here, then click here to go to object mode. I learned this from Max Palermo. Uh, this is, uh, I saw this, I was so happy to find this out. We want to click here and turn the snapping off. We want to uh, click here in our modifier panel. We're going to click the eye to temporarily turn our uh, subdivision surface, not our subdivision surface, our shrink wrap modifier on, off. Uh, we're going to right click here. Our, we, we right clicked here because we put our 3D cursor here in Blender, where your 3D cursor is at, is where objects tend to come into Blender at. Okay, so we're going to hold Shift while holding Shift, press A. This brings up our Add to menu. We're going to uh, select Cylinder. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel to, back, to zoom back. So here's our cylinder. The vertices are 32. It's too many. We're going to click here and change that to 20. See where it says cap fill type? This is Ingon. It's talking about that right there, that cap fill type. You see right there? So we're going to click here. We're going to change this to nothing. Now we're going to press S to scale this down. We're going to zoom in by rolling our mouse wheel in. We're going to put this inside of the leg right here. Okay, so this is currently selected because we just put it in the leg. So with that currently selected, we're going to click here uh, to our add modifier button we're then going to click shrink wrap 
So it's shrink wrap for that cylinder that we currently can't see that's currently in the leg, right? We're going to go to our target and the target tells us what we, you know, want this to basically stick to, which is our sculpted mesh here. So we're going to click this eyedropper, click here. Okay, so now we still can't see our cylinder. Then this is what Max Palermo did that was uh, amazing. Uh, let's put a check mark here for keep above surface. surface. What he did that was amazing was whenever I would use the shrink wrap modifier, I would just let it sit here for mode. He went and clicked here and he turned this to project. So now with that, basically it is an extremely easy way to have, let me click here and then here, extremely easy way to basically have loops around the body. You put the a cylinder here, you basically put it inside the mesh, you use project, and uh, this happens, and uh, I absolutely love it. So it's useful for many things. For us, it is useful for what we're doing. So with this selected, this is a separate object currently from our main uh, retopology object. We're gonna click here and then click here. So we're in the edit mode for this right here. And this is a separate cylinder. So we clicked on our modifier tab. We're clicking this button so we can see ourselves working here. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna hold control while holding control press R. We'll put in two edge loops like that. So I pressed A to deselect by the way. And then clicked here for edge select. I'm holding Alt, I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna press E to extrude, whoa. Right click, push that down, there we go. When you push this down, see this right here? This is an issue, so what we're gonna do is go to object mode, we're gonna click here. This has a mirror modifier on it, so we're gonna click here to take away the mirror off of this. So now with the mirror off of this, now we can click back on this that we're using for the retopology for the leg. We'll then click edit mode, and now we'll press E to extrude, right click, and then push that down. We'll press E to extrude, right click, push this down. E to extrude, right click, push this down. So now we'll hold control, then press R, put in edge loops. I guess it'll only let me go so far. I'm putting putting control R and putting in uh, edge loops. Hmm. What I'm gonna try to do is press A to select everything, press S to scale. Move this up like that. So I'm scaling along the uh, Z axis. Because right there it's starting to act up some. So I'm going to hold Alt, press O to turn on our connect our proportional editing tool, not our connected proportional editing tool. Now I'm going to press G, then Z. Let's turn our snapping back on. That didn't go well. Let's press O. Ooh. Again, that's my new format. So you see, saw that mess up. So what I'm gonna do is select this edge here I'll press V. This is the area that's acting up. So now I'll just click here, hold control L. Whoops. I'll press X and then delete that. Okay. So we have a nice, you know, start right here. Um, 
so what we're going to do here is we'll click here we're going to uh, apply this shrink wrap modifier now we're going to hold shift while holding shift we're going to click here didn't select click here hold shift and click here that's annoying if you have this issue I'm trying to select this first then that this is selecting the body right what you can do is click on the body go to your outliner window click right here this will make it so you can't select the body so I'll click here right so now I click here hold shift and click here the order is important because I want to join this to this because I want this to you know be connected to the main work we're doing so I'm gonna hold control then press J and when I did that this basically got all of the modifiers of this as well as the material okay so now we'll click here we'll click here turn this back on we'll click back on our main uh, work here let's press Z and then select shade smooth so that's smooth now we'll click here we'll go to edit mode okay so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna press E right click let's push this down like this let's press S pull that to the side like that cab is sticking out here so we'll press A we'll hold control press R left click once because we left click once we uh, can move the loop cut Now let's put in more loop cuts. I'm just looking at the size, so I'm not like um, when, as I'm as I'm putting these loop cuts in. I'm not necessarily counting loop cuts. I'm looking at the size of our individual faces. So now I'm gonna turn that shrink wrap back on. We you know, basically just let it work there. I'm gonna. Hold Alt, select that loop. Bring that up. I'm going to press O to turn on the proportional editing tool. Then press Z. There we go. Not totally. I'm going to press O to turn the proportional editing tool off. Bring that down. Press A to deselect. It's coming along. Okay, what I'm doing here is just looking. Like I said, we can go back and uh, line these up. We can go back and change things. So I'm just looking at this. I can see this matches up here this here what we'll do is we'll I press a i'm going to hold control press r click here oops press a to deselect so we can select these edges right here what we'll do is we'll hold control while holding control we'll press e this brings up our edges menu we'll then select bridge edge loops and then press a to deselect right here we can see we can match this up we'll hold control while holding control press r we'll click here 
hold control, press E, select bridge edge loops, press A to deselect. And then let's see, you know, right here, you know, similar deal. So what we can do is adjust our uh, verge to make things easier. Remember, we can put things in and take them out to make things easier. Like, see this right here? Wouldn't it be nice if we could just match this up right here? But this thing's an issue. Is it an issue? Well, we can actually go like this. We can always come back. We'll hold all click here, press X. This brings up our delete menu, and then we'll select dissolve edges. Now we can just match that up. So now what we'll do is click here, hold shift, click these edges, let go of shift, the whole control, while holding control, press E. This brings up our edges menu. We'll select bridge edge loops. And now we have that connected. So we'll press A to deselect. Okay, I'm gonna hold them in the mouse button, rotate the view, I'm gonna hold shift and the mouse button, pan. Let's deal with this right here. We're gonna hold alt, then click here. We can fill this in fairly easily by holding control. While holding control, pressing F. This brings up our faces menu. We'll then select grid fill to fill this in. Grid fill. Instead of uh, just pressing F, which would have given us one polygon, one face, I should say, uh, grid fill gives us faces according to the geometry that's around it. We also have these options right here. You can see this says grid fill here. These give us different options uh, if we want to change our geometry here. So that's nice. So we're going to press A to deselect. We're going to bring out some geometry here for the arm. I'm going to click here, here, zoom in. I'm going to hold shift and click here as well as here. I'm going to press F. I'm going to press A to deselect. Now I'm just going to even out some of this geometry here. Basically pulling this forward. necessarily forward because we have this solid edge we should be able to pull out this uh, geometry here to go over the arm press A to deselect okay so we're gonna turn off our shrink wrap we're gonna hold alt then click here because I held alt I select the entire loop edge loop I'm gonna press E to extrude, bring this out like that. Be careful about getting too close to the hand. I'm going to press S to scale this up. I'm going to press W to bring up our specials menu. I'm then going to go to loop tools and then select circle. It's a fairly easy way to smooth that out. Circle did that. Press S. Now I'm making sure by holding them in the mouse button that this is actually over the arm. So now I'm going to hold control while holding control press R. Put in loop cuts. So I put in four. I'm going to left click. Left click again to lock those in. Now I'm going to turn that back on. I'm going to press move vertex I'm gonna press A to D select I'm gonna hold alt click here press W select circle I'm trying to use circle to smooth this out a lot of times that I'm doing things like I'm still you know, learning more about uh, retopology. Yep, I do read the comments. Uh, I'm putting loop cuts in here.
I, a lot of times I try to figure out what is the fastest way. Sometimes I, th I think I come up with decent things. Like I'll see, I'll see somebody doing something and I'm like, why don't they do it like this? This seems like they could do the same thing faster. Sometimes I actually do succeed in coming with things that are better. I think better. Other times I realize later on that, you know, the reason why they were doing it fairly slow. Right now I'm just adjusting uh, these vertices when I press C. Now it's paint select. And I'm just seeing if by smoothing it'll smooth this out more. Again, my main goal right here is to get this uh, covered. I'm going to click here, hold shift. I have four edges selected. I'm going to press E to extrude, right click. Push. I'm going to turn this off. And really push this towards itself. And I'm going to put in loop cuts. I'm going to turn this back on. I'm also going to turn on snapping. Press C. Go to face select. Press A to deselect. This is paint select. I press C to activate paint select. I'm going to press G. Let's try that here. That was the snapping tool. When I press G, the snapping tool activated and it made the geometry snap and it smoothed it out. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to press C here. Paint this geometry. And I'm, I'm painting the one side because I don't want the back to snap. So I'm going to try pressing G. That works so much, somewhat. I'm going to try it here. Not so much there. Smooth vertex helped out there. I'll press A, deselect. Smooth vertex again. You can see this vertex right here. I'm going to turn this off. Bunch of vertexes that are bunched up, so I'll turn this off. once we get this smoothed out we'll uh, apply the, the shrink wrap and then put another one on Yeah, what we're going to do is, uh, actually deselect, let's apply that. Okay, we can't apply that in edit mode, so we'll click here, go to object mode, we'll click apply. Come, uh, let's put it back on. You might say, well, why would you just put it back on, take it off, and put it on? I wanted it, it seems to help. Okay, I'm going to hold shift, shift, as well as the middle mouse button to pan. Let's deal with this area here. We're going to click here to go to edge select. Let's click here, hold shift and click here. We'll press F to fill. We're going to left click here, hold shift, then click here, then press F to fill. 
press A to deselect. When we zoom in here, we can see that there's, for the non-mirrored side, two edges right here. So what we want to do is, uh, let's see this right here. Let's click here. Pull this to the side. Click here. There we go. Now that's dealt with. So we want two edges here. And when I say two, I mean on this non-mirrored side. So let's hold control, press R, left click. Because we left click once, we can move this loop cut. We'll move in like that. Similar to that. That's what I'm looking at. Let's click here. So we have the one. We need another one to match there. So we're going to hold control while holding control, press R, left click once move this towards then we'll left click there press a to deselect we'll zoom in hold shift in the middle mouse button to pan we'll click here manipulators in the way so i'll click here i'm going to hold shift click here hold shift in the middle mouse button pan zoom in hold shift in the middle mouse button pan click here letting go shift zoom back we're going to hold control while holding control we're going to press e this brings up our edges menu we're going to select bridge edge loops. We're going to press A to deselect. We need loops here. So see how big these loops are? So we're going to kind of look at that, right? So now we'll hover here, hold control, while holding control, press R, and then left click to lock that in. So now what we'll do is we'll hold Alt, we'll click here, then we'll hold control while holding control press F. This brings up our faces menu. Then we'll select grid fill. And grid fill filled all of that geometry in for us. So now what we can do is let's try to have it stick to our geometry underneath a little better. So we're going to click here, then press G, then left click. And then with that done, we can click smooth vertex like that. Now we'll press A to deselect. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to hold the middle mouse button. We're going to hold shift as well as the middle mouse button to pan. See this right here? So we'll click here. Click here. Click here to turn the manipulator back on. Pull that to the side. Click here. Then push that like that and then press A to deselect. So I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate view. With edge select on, we're going to click here. We're going to hold control, then click here. We're going to press S to scale. We're going to left click to lock that scale in. And we're going to then going to click here, then click here. Okay, we'll pull that. Press A to deselect. We'll hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm going to click here to temporarily turn off this x-ray. We need to have the geometry come down around here. So we're going to click here. We're going to hold Alt. We're going to, so I'm holding Alt. I'm holding Shift. We're actually going to delete these uh, loops. I'm going to press, let's see, press A to D. So I'm going to hold Shift, hold Alt. Select here, we'll press X, then choose faces to delete there. Okay, we want to have a loop come down here, so we're going to click here, go to edge select. Let's click here. Don't have to, uh, we're on face select, we'll click here. Click here. We'll as the scale like that and then press A to deselect 
We're now going to click here, hold control. Remember, we can come back later. this let's deal with that so we'll click here we click that to temporarily turn off the uh, mirror modifier there we go I'm gonna click here to turn the x-ray back on click here snapping off there we go okay we're gonna click here press S to scale and click here turn off the mirror back on click there to turn temporarily turn off the shrink wrap we're making this smaller because we want to connect it to right there so let's see So we have this selected here. We're going to hold shift and click here. You can actually you could press F to fill. I'm going to hold control press E so you guys know in this case after field would work but we're going to use bridge edge loops so now we're going to look here similar to what we did before look at the face size and you know try to make this basically around the same size we'll click here here press F fill there okay what we're going to do now is we're going to hold alt we're then going to while holding alt left click here okay, I'm holding alt there we go because I was holding alt I selected that entire edge loop what we're going to do now is hold control while holding control we're going to press F this brings up our faces menu. We're then going to select grid fill and then blender nicely filled that in for us. However, it is not uh, sticking to the mesh. So what we're going to do is click here to turn on our snapping menu. We're going to get a view where hopefully snapping will be fine with this. And then we're going to press G and then left click. Well, I turn to the side now. You can see that. Uh, this is actually sticking to the uh, sculpted mesh underneath. So now what we want to do is click smooth, smooth vertex. So now I want to press A to deselect. Okay, we're going to hold the middle mouse button and rotate the view. This area right here, we want to connect this area to the legs. This, we're going to have to deal with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to hover here. I'm looking at this line right here and i'm thinking about connecting it right here so to do that i'm going to hover here hold control while holding control i'm going to press r i move my mouse now you can see the uh uh loop cut preview i'm going to left click once then left click a second time and lock that in i'll press a to deselect i'll then click here to go to vertex select i'm going to left click here manipulator looks like it might get away so i'm going to click here temporarily take it out of the way i'm going to Hold shift while holding shift click here. I'm then going to hold alt while holding alt press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to select at last. I'm 
now what I'm going to do is hold shift, press F to fill that area. So I selected all those vertices and then I filled in that area there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make sure we're in vertex select, which we are. We're going to hold alt select here, right? When we look up here, see it says verts 13, right? That tells us how many vertices are selected in that loop or actually in that loop, right? So now we're going to hold alt then click here. So now with this loop selected, we can see that this has 20 uh, vertices, right? So we need to have this match up. So uh, these two have to match up. So this has 13, this has 20. So I'll hold control while holding control press R. So now that's 14, right? Now 15. So I'm putting loop cuts in. So now we're up to 15 here. 16. 17. Now 18. So we have 18 vertices here and 20 here. So what we can do is uh, roll the mouse wheel to zoom back. I'm going to hold alt then select here. Then press X to bring up our delete menu. I'll then choose Zav edges. So now this is 19. Now I'm going to hold alt then click here. And I'm going to press X to bring up our delete menu. Then I'll choose dissolve edges. So now this is 18. So these should be even now. So it should be 18 here and then 18 here. So I'm going to hold alt click here, hold shift while holding alt then click here. I'm then going to hold control while holding control press E. This brings up our edges menu. I'm then going to select bridge edge leaps. And now you can see that that worked and these are connected. So I'm going to hold control, press R and then put in edge loops to uh, balance that out. So now I'm going to press A to deselect and then I'm going to click here. Let's hold the middle mouse button and take a look. Okay, now I'm going to roll the mouse button to zoom back. I'm going to press Z. I'm going to press Z. Go to wireframe. I'm going to hold control while holding the uh, right mouse button. I'm going to draw a lasso select right here. Go to face select. I'm going to press H to hide. I'm going to press Z, then select solid. And what I'm going to do with the face hidden is I'm going to press A to select all of our geometry. I'm then going to select smooth vertex. Just push this a few times to smooth out our geometry. I'm going to press A to deselect. Zoom in. Go to vertex select. Click here. Turn our manipulator back on. Push this in. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button and rotate here. I'm going to go to face select. Press C. Select this here. I'm going to deselect here. I'm going to press C, then hold the middle mouse button. I'm now going to press G and then left click. Now I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay, what we're going to do is apply this uh, shrink wrap modifier. So I'm going to click here. Go to object mode. I'm going to click apply. We're then going to click here and then put the shrink wrap modifier back on. Now we're going to click here and then click here. So you might sit there and say, why did you do that? We did that because now we'll have the general shape without having to have the, the shrink wrap modifier be responsible for that. So I'm going to click here, click here. Just push this geometry towards itself. Now I'm going to press A to deselect. So I'm going to Roll the mouse wheel back to take a look. I'm going to hold shift and then the mouse button pan. Click here. Push that geometry towards itself. Now I'm going to press A to deselect. Now I'm going to hold alt while holding alt press H to bring back our previously hidden geometry. 
Okay, what we want to do now is we want to zoom in here. So I'm going to hover here. I'm going to hold shift while holding shift. I'm going to press B. Oops. Hold shift. Press B. There we go. Zoom in here. I'm going to click here. Then temporarily turn off X-ray. I'm rolling the mouse wheel to zoom in. I'm going to click here. Then click here. I'm going to hold control. While holding control, I'm going to right click. And let go of control. I'm then going to left click here. And then while holding control, right click. I'm then going to hold shift, click here, then press F to fill. I'm now going to click here, hold shift. Zoom in more. Press F to fill there. Okay, I'm going to hold shift and the middle mouse button to pan. I'm going to click here, push this vertex towards itself. I'm going to click here, push this vertex towards itself. What we're doing here is we are setting up to uh, have the clavicle bone come out. We want to make it come out and go behind the deltoid there. So we're going to click here, hold shift. I'm thinking. Okay, we're going to press A to deselect. I'm going to click here, click here, hold control, then click here. I'm going to hold shift. So I can select these four vertices, let go of shift. I'm going to press F to fill. Now I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to click here to go to edge select. Click here. Zoom back. So I'm going to hold control. I'm going to press S to scale. I left click to lock that in. Press S to scale. Holding control again. Okay, I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay, we're going to turn off snapping for now. Then we're going to click X-ray. Got some strangeness here. So we're going to click here, go to face select. We're going to select this. We'll press X to delete this. We can always change this back. We're just trying to think of the fastest way to deal with these issues right now so this strange uh, pulled out faces right here probably from our snapping so we're just going to press X to bring up our delete menu then choose faces to delete I'm going to click here to go to edge select. I'm going to click here, hold them the mouse button, rotate. I'm going to hold shift. Then while holding shift, I'm going to click here. I'm then going to press F to fill. I want to fill in this geometry here. We can come back and change this later if we want. I'm going to click here, hold shift, click here, click here, then press F to fill. Press A to deselect. I'm going to click here, then click here. Press X, choose faces to delete. I'm now going to click here, hold Alt, then click here. When we look up here, see how this says uh, Vert 16? So most likely, because this is an even number, Blender will let us use grid fill. So we're going to hold Control. While holding Control, we're going to press F. This brings up our faces menu. We're then going to select grid fill and we can see blender filled that in I'm going to click here go to our shrink wrap modifier then click here and now we can see this geometry here now I'm going to go right here so tools and then smooth vertex click that a few times then I'm going to press A to deselect 
I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate. Looking right here. Let's hold control while holding control. Press R. And then left click to lock that in. I'm going to click here. So I click this vertex as well as that vertex. I'm going to hold Alt while holding Alt. I'm going to press M. I'm going to choose At Last. I'm going to click here. Hold Shift. Click there. Hold Alt while holding Alt. Press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to select At Last. Now I'm going to click here to go to uh, Edge Select. I'm going to click here. Hold Shift. Click here. Press F. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm then going to hold Alt. Then click here. When I look up here, the vert says 14, so most likely Blender will allow us to fill this in using grid fill uh, because these are even vertices. So I'm going to hold control while holding control. I'm going to press F. This brings up our faces menu. I'm then going to select grid fill. Okay, now I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold control. Here we go. I'm going to hold control, press R, roll the mouse wheel once. We have two loop cuts, and then I'm going to left click once, then left click a second time to lock that in. Then I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold shift and the middle mouse button to pan. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate. Then zoom back. I'm going to hold shift and the middle mouse button to pan up. Okay, we're going to hold shift while holding shift, press B. Press A, I'm going to hold Shift then, press B, there we go. Zoom in here. I'm going to make sure we're on edge select. I'm going to hold Alt. We're going to press S to scale on the Z axis, 0, then left click. I'm going to push this down like that. I'm going to click this edge. I'm going to hold Control, then right click here. I'm going to click this edge, hold control, then right click there. I'm going to hold shift, then click here, then press F. I'm thinking. Okay, if I click here, then hold control, then click here. I use the shortest path right there. If I look up here, we can see that there's nine verts right here. So let's make eight cuts right here. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold control, then press. I press control R, so there's one, so I'm going to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to left click once, then left click again to lock that in. I'm going to press A to deselect. So now I'm going to hold all select here. We have 19 verts right there. I'm going to zoom back. I'm going to see. I'm going to put a loop cut here. Remember, we can adjust this later. I'm going to hover here, hold control, press R, then left click once, left click again. So, seeing where that went. So now I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hover here, hold shift, and while holding shift, press B. Zoom in. Now I'm going to hold Alt. And I can see that this is 20 verts right here. Okay, I'm going to press A to deselect. There we go. I'm going to hold control. While holding control, I'm going to put in uh, five loop cuts. There's one. I'm going to go two, three, four, five. So that's mouse 
roles that I'm doing to put the loop cuts in. I'm going to left click once, then left click again to lock that in. I'm going to press A to deselect cover here, hold control. While holding control, I'm going to press R, then roll two, three, four, five, then left click once, left click a second time to lock that in. Holding the middle mouse button to rotate, I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold Alt, and while holding Alt, click that edge because I was holding Alt, I select the entire edge loop. We have 29 verts right here. So grid fill is probably not going to work. So I'm going to press A to deselect. I see this big area here. I'm going to hold control, press R. And I left click, left click again to lock that in. I'm going to press A to deselect. Hold Alt, then click here. We have 30 verts. So most likely uh, we will be able to use grid fill. So I'm going to hold control. While holding control, press F. This brings up our faces menu. I'm then going to select grid fill. And then there's our grid fill right there. I'm going to click smooth. Vertex, which didn't help that much. So let me click here. this and drag this back. I'm just clicking these faces, taking the manipulator and just pulling back, trying to have uh, our shrink wrap help us out. Okay, I'm going to click here, go to edge, select, hold alt, then click here to select that entire edge loop there. I'm going to click here to turn off our shrink wrap modifier. Temporarily, I'm going to press E to extrude and then I'm going to right click. Now, pushing this extrusion forward, take the manipulator and just try to make it basically go in the direction of uh, our foot and rotating just you know to look to see what's going on. Okay, when we look, we can see we have 31 verts, so grid fill probably will not let us do grid fill. So let's take an edge away. So I'm going to click here, hold Alt here. Then I'm going to press X. This brings up our delete menu. I'm then going to select dissolve edges. I just left clicked on dissolve edges. I'm now holding alt. I'm gonna while holding alt, left click here. Now we have 30 verts, so our grid fill should work. So I'm gonna hold control while holding control, press F. This brings up our faces menu. I'm then gonna select grid fill and then blender filled that in for us. So now I'm gonna press A to deselect. I'm gonna hover here, hold control while holding control. I'm gonna put in four. Loop cut, and then I'm going to left click, then left click again to lock that in. I'm then going to press A to deselect. Now I'm going to click here. To turn uh, a shrink wrap modifier back on. strangeness in there so I'm just grabbing the verts and trying to uh, adjust them somewhat I'm going to press A to deselect okay I'm going to Press A to deselect. I'm going to hold shift while holding shift. I'm going to press B and draw a zoom box to zoom in here. That, our hand is uh, kind of lumpy looking from when I first sculpted this hand, which really isn't too much of an issue because we're going to do what a lot of people recommend, which is basically remake the hand. Uh, it's probably faster than um, going over this. You'll see what I mean. So I'm going to click here, go to object mode. I'm going to right click. I'm going to hold shift 
While holding shift, I'm going to press A, which brings up our anti menu. I'm then going to select cylinder. There's our cylinder, it has 32 vertices. I'm going to click here, change this to 8, then press enter. See where it says cap field type ingon. I'm going to click there, change that to nothing. I'm going to zoom back. I'm going to press S to scale this down. Roll the mouse button to zoom in. Press S to scale that down. And then I'm going to actually let's see. I'm trying to think of the easiest way to do this. I'm going to click display, click front. I'm then going to click view global slash local. I'm now going to click here and then click here to go to edit mode. Okay, so we're in front orthographic local mode. And uh, we came here just because this is probably the fastest and quickest way to do this. We're going to press R to rotate on the X axis, 9, 0. Okay. Let's try that again with face select on. R to rotate on the X axis, 9, 0. There we go. Hold the middle mouse button to rotate. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to click here. Go to edge select, I'm going to click here, hold shift, then click here. I'm going to press E to extrude, push that towards itself. I'm going to click here, hold shift. While clicking this, I'm going to press E to extrude, bring that up like that. Then I'm going to go to vertex select. I'm going to hold shift, click here, hold alt while holding alt, press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to choose at last. I'm going to press A to deselect. I am going quick here. Uh, be aware that on YouTube, you can actually slow down uh, the video. Uh, if this is too fast for you, it's a very nice feature that YouTube has. Is, that YouTube has. Uh, it sounds hilarious, but it, it's effective. So I'm going to zoom in here, hold shift, click here. I'm going to hold alt while holding alt, press M. I'm going to select at last. I'm going to click here, hold shift, then click here, hold alt while holding alt, press M, then select at last. I'm then going to click here, hold shift, or I did just click there, hold shift, click here, hold alt while holding alt, press M, select at last, I'm going to click here, hold shift, while holding shift, click here, hold alt, while holding alt, press M, then select at last, and then going to click this, then push that down, and then going to press A to deselect. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom back. I'm going to click here, hold alt, click here. And I pulled that back to about the length that I thought a finger should be. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to click here to go to the right view. I'm going to hold control while holding control, press R. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel once. So we have two loop cuts. I'm going to left click once, then left click again to lock that in. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm going to hold shift the middle mouse button pan i want to make a uh, geometry so a fingernail can be right here so i'm just thinking of how a fingernail would look here and i'm thinking the fingernail would end around here so i'm going to hold control while holding control press r and i left click once because i left click once i uh can move this loop cut that i just put in so i'm going to put this back here again i'm putting this here because i think this is where the fingernail would pretty much end up at as far as like the top of the nail I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to click here, hold shift and click here as well as here. I'm going to press I to inset. I'm going to right click. Then I'm going to press S. To s hmm. That was interesting. I'm going to press I to inset and push in. That was interesting. Now I'm going to press S to scale. For those of you who have watched this channel for a while, I finally started to see the advantage of using inset in certain situations. So, okay, I'm going to, with this selected here, I'm going to press I, then push in, then uh, left click. I'm now going to press E to extrude, right click, and then 
bring that up like that. I'm then going to press A to deselect. Hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm going to hold control while holding control. I'm going to press R, then left click to put that like that. I'm then going to press A to deselect, hold control, then R to put another, another loop cut right there. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold control. I put a loop cut in and then slid it forward. I'm going to hold control and left click to put that in there like that. I'm going to go to uh, vertex select, push that forward some. I'm holding shift and the mouse button to pan. I'm going to edge select, I'm clicking right here. Push that up, something like that. I'm going to press A to deselect. Now I'm going to click here to go to top view. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to mouse button pan. I'm going to roll the mouse button to zoom back. I'm going to press L to deselect. I'm going to hold shift. Then while holding shift, I'm going to press D. I'm going to right click to uh, lock that duplication in. That's what we did. We Duplicate it when we press shift D. I'm then going to left click, move this to the side. I'm then going to press R to rotate. I'm going to hold shift, then press D, then right click. I just duplicated that finger. I'm going to press R to rotate. I'm going to hold shift, press D, then right click. I duplicated that finger. I'm going to press R to rotate and press A to deselect. I'm going to hover here, press L, hold shift while holding shift, press D, right click, roll the mouse wheel to, oops, I'm going to press L, there we go, I'm going to press R to rotate. Press S to scale. I'm gonna hold Alt while holding Alt. Press S. Hold Shift for finer control. Okay. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna let go of Shift. I'm holding Alt. Then press S. Making that fatter. I'm gonna press S to scale. Something like that. I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay, I'm going to hold the middle mouse button and rotate the view. I'll shift the middle mouse button to pan. I'm going to click here to go to vertex select. I'm going to click here, hold shift. Now I'm going to hold alt while holding alt. I'm going to press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to choose at center. I'm going to click here, hold shift. With those two vert vertices selected. I'm going to hold Alt while holding Alt. Press M. I'm going to select at center. I'm going to click here. I'm going to click here to temporarily take our take away our manipulator. I'm going to hold Shift. Hold Alt while holding Alt. Press M. Select at center. Click here. Hold Shift. Hold Alt while holding Alt. Press M. Select at center. Click here. Roll the mouse wheel. Zoom in. Hold Shift and middle mouse button to pan. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel in again, holding shift again. Now I'm going to hold alt while holding alt, press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to choose at center. Then I'm going to click here, hold shift, uh, let go of shift, hold alt while holding alt, press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to choose at center. Then I'm going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom back. I'm going to press A to deselect. Then I'm going to click here to go back to top view, roll the mouse wheel to zoom back, hold shift and middle mouse button to pan. And now I'm going to roll to zoom in. I'm going to hold shift and the mouse button pan. I'm going to click here, hold alt, then click here. So because I was holding alt, I selected the entire edge loop. Now I'm going to press E to extrude, right click. I'm going to click here to bring back a manipulator. I'm going to bring that out like that. Press S to scale a little. I'm going to left click, then press E to extrude, right click. Bring that out 
more like that. Now I'm going to press S to scale on the Y axis, zero. Left click, bring that out like that. Okay, I'm going to press A to, A to deselect. Real quick here, zoom in. You want to merge these vertices here. So I'm going to click here, hold shift, I'm going to let go of shift, click here to get the manipulator to hide temporarily. I'm going to hold shift and click here. I'm going to hold alt while holding alt. I'm going to press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to choose at last. I'm going to click here, hold shift and click here. Hold alt while holding alt, press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to choose at last. I'm going to click here, hold shift, then click here. Then hold Alt while holding Alt, press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm then going to select at last. Okay, I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom back. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, click here to go to the bottom view. What we want to do is reduce our vertices. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here, hold shift, then click here, then click here. We're then going to hold alt while holding alt. We're going to press M. We're then going to select at last. We're going to press A to deselect. We're then going to click here, hold shift, click here, then click here. We're then going to hold alt while holding alt. We're going to press M. This brings up our merge menu. We're then going to select at last. And then going to press A to deselect. We'll now click here to go back to the top view. We'll click here to go to edge select. We'll hold alt while holding alt. Click here. We'll press E to extrude. Right click to get the extrusion to stay in place. Click here to bring our manipulator back and then pull this edge loop like that. What we're going to do now is we're going to press E to extrude, right click to keep that uh, the extrusion we just made in place. Now we're going to pull this out like that. And then going to press A to deselect and then going to click here. We're going to click here, hold shift, click here. I'm letting go of shift. I'm going to click here to temporarily take away the manipulator. I'm going to hold shift and click here. I'm going to hold alt while holding alt. I'm going to press M. Uh, this brings up our urge menu. I'm going to select at last. I'm then going to press A to deselect. I'm now going to click here, hold shift and click here, then click here. I'm then going to hold alt while holding alt. I'm going to press M. I'm then going to select at last. I'm then going to press A to deselect. Okay, we're going to click here, go to Alt Select, hold Alt, click here. I'm going to press E to extrude, right click. I'm going to click here to temporarily bring, bring back the manipulator, pull that up. I'm going to hold the mouse button to go to the side. I'm going to press A to deselect, click here, click here, hold Shift, uh, then hold Alt while holding Alt, press M. I'm going to, that brought up our merge menu, and then going to select at center. I'm going to press A to deselect. Then I'm going to hold the middle mouse button to rotate the view. I'm going to click here, hold shift, then click here. Hold alt while holding alt, press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm then going to select at center. I'm then going to press A to deselect. Then I'm going to hold the middle mouse button, rotate. I'm going to click here, click here, pull that up. I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to hold alt, then click here. I'm then going to press E, right click. Pull that back like that, then press S to scale. And then I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to click here, click here, click here. While holding shift, I did that. And then I'm going to hold Alt while holding Alt. I'm going to press M. That brings up our at that. Nah, this brings up our merge menu. I'm going to select at center. And then I'm going to press A to deselect. And then I'm going to click here, hold shift, click here. Hold Alt while holding Alt, press M. This brings up our merge menu. I'm going to select at center. I'm then going to press A to deselect. 
I'm now going to click here, go to face select. Yeah, I'm going to click here, go to edge select. I'm going to hold alt, click here. I'm going to press G twice. Slide that edge like that. I'm going to press A to deselect. Press, uh, I left click, then I press A to deselect. I deselect. I'm going to go to here to go to face select. I'm going to click here, hold shift, click here, here, here. Press X to bring up our delete menu, and then choose faces to delete. What I'm going to do now is go to Alt Select. I'm going to hold Alt, click here. I'm still holding Alt, now I'm holding Shift, now I'm clicking here. I let go of Shift and Alt, so with this selected as well as this selected, this being this edge loop, as well as this edge loop here, because this has eight uh, vertices here, this also has eight vertices, so I'm going to hold Control, and then while holding Control, press E, this brings up our edges menu and then I'm going to select bridge edge loops now we're going to press A to D select we're going to hover here hold control while holding control press R put a loop cut right there we're going to press A to D select we're going to click here hold shift while holding shift click here holding the middle mouse button to rotate we're going to pull that out some like that we're going to click vertex select clicking right here I'll zoom in so you can see that better I'm pulling up right there so what we're going to do is we're going to take this hand go to scope mode for this object so that, that is our hand we're going to go to tools. We're going to make sure that we go down to symmetry lock and turn off this X mirror. I'm going to hold shift as well as the middle mouse button to pan. I'm going to scroll up to tools. We'll click here for inflate. And uh, this will allow us to fairly easily adjust shape of our hand so I'm just making this part thicker by using the uh, inflate brush we can go to our snake hook brush and then pull that out like that I'll click here go to inflate here press F inflate this here Go to the grab brush and I'm going to the joints basically and pulling up. I held shift and I flattened a little right there. We're going to click here, go to edit mode. Edge select. And I'm basically trying to make this not be so flat here, so I'm holding shift. Okay, I'm going to press A to deselect. I'm going to go to display, where it says view global slash local. I'm going to click here. I'm going to press uh, 
I'm going to click here, go to object mode. Now I'm going to press R to rotate on the Z axis so I can rotate. Pull that out. Push that more into position. I'm going to press R to rotate on the Y axis. So I'm looking at the size difference. I'm going to press S to scale. I'm just taking the manipulator, rotating and pushing this more into place. Okay, now I'm actually clicking on our actual sculpted mesh. I'm going to go to display and then click view global slash local to go into local mode for this. I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to click here. Go to edit mode. I'm going to click front or in front orthographic local. I'm going to press Z, go to wireframe. I'm going to hold control while holding control. I'm going to hold the right mouse button. I am uh, selecting right at the wrist level. I'm now pressing P uh, to bring up our separate menu. I'm then choosing selection. I'm now clicking here to go to object mode. I'm now going to press Z and then select solid. So here's our separated hand in case we want to get it back. Uh, I'm going to click here to go back into our uh, global mode. I'm going to press click on that hand again, press M, and then I'm going to move that hand to another layer. I did that because when we deal with the snapping, I do not want this hand to try to snap to the other hand, which would be very difficult to match up. Okay, what we're going to do now is click on our sculpted mesh. We're going to press H to hide. We're going to click on our retopologized uh, mesh so far. We're going to click for our shrink wrap, apply. We're going to click on our hand. We're going to hold shift while holding shift. We're going to click on our retopologized mesh. I let go of shift. Now I'm holding control while holding control. I'm pressing J. So now our hand is a part of our retopologized mesh here. Okay. Now we're going to click here, then click here to go to edit mode. We're going to hold alt. We can see this has 16 verts. We're going to press A to D select. We're going to click here. We can see this has 10 verts. We need this to be 16. We're going to roll in. We're going to hold shift them in the mouse button to pan. We're going to press A to D select. We're going to hold control. Press R. So that should give us 12. Because we got uh, a loop, you know, the loop went from here to around there. So this is 13. That should be 14, 15. That should be 16. Let's press A. I'm not sure. Okay, yeah, that's 16. I'm going to hold alt, click here, I'm still holding alt, now I'm holding shift, I'm going to click here, letting go of control, I let go of control and shift, now I'm holding control E, this brings up our edges menu, I'm going to select bridge edge loops, I'm going to press A to D select, now I'm going to hold control then press R, then roll to get four edge loops, I'm going to left click, then left click again, I'm going to press A to deselect I'm gonna zoom back I'm gonna click here go to object mode I'm holding alt then left clicking here I'm holding shift so while holding alt as well as shift I'm left clicking here 
just let go of both now I'm gonna hold control while holding control I'm gonna press E this brings up our edges menu I'm then gonna select bridge edge loops then I'm gonna press A to deselect hover here I'm gonna hold control while holding control press R that put in a loop cut preview I'm then gonna roll again then again and then again for four loop cuts and then gonna left click once then left click again to lock those loop cuts in I'm then gonna press A to deselect Okay, I'm going to roll back. I'm going to press Z, go to wireframe. I'm going to click here to go to front orthographic. I'm going to hold control. Let me get a face select first. Select go control. I'm going to hold control while holding the right mouse button. I'm going to draw a lasso select around our hand. And then I'm going to press H to hide it. I'm going to hold Alt. Not going to hold Alt yet. I'm going to press Z. Sorry. Press Z, then solid. Now I'm going to click here go to object mode I'm gonna hold alt while holding alt press H I'm gonna press A to deselect I'm gonna click on our retopologized mesh I'm gonna click here then click here to put a shrink wrap modifier on I'm then gonna click here and then click that's interesting I wanted to be able to get just the shape of our hand, right? So this is uh, not giving me what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here, right? I'm going to make sure we're clicked on our hand. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to hold alt while holding alt press H. I'm going to press C for paint select paint hold the middle mouse button to deselect the hand I'm going to hold shift as well as alt while being on face select select there I'm going to press P to bring up our separate menu I'm going to choose selection so I separated the hand. I'm going to click here, go to object mode, make sure I'm clicked on our retopologized mesh. I'm going to click here to turn our uh, shrink wrap modifier back on. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to click here, go to edit mode, taking a look and seeing what we have there. I'm going to go to alt select, I'm going to hold alt, 16 verts. I'm going to click here, click here, I'm going to press Z, select shades move. I'm now going to hold shift, then click here, hold control, then press J. Then I'm gonna click here, go back to edit mode. I'm gonna press A to deselect. I'm gonna hold Alt, click here, hold Shift while holding Alt, click here. Then I'm gonna hold Control while holding Control, press E. This brings up our edges menu. I'm gonna select Bridge Edge Loops. I'm gonna hold Shift and the middle mouse button to pan. I'm going to Press H to hide that geometry there. I'm going to press face select. Press L. Move that some like that. I'm going to hold Alt, press H. I'm going to go to edge select, hold Alt. Move that edge like that. And I'll press, I'll go to tools, I'll click smooth vertex I hold alt click here smooth vertex I'll then press A to deselect okay we're gonna click here go to object mode we're gonna click on our sculpted mesh press H to hide that we'll click on our retopologized mesh we'll click mirror modifier We'll click here to go to edit mode. I'm 
let's press uh, A, select everything, let's press W to bring up our specials menu, then let's select remove doubles, no doubles were removed, I'm going to uh, press A to deselect, hold alt, click here, press S to scale and X axis, zero, Let's see right here, there's something. I guess it looks something, okay. Let's get the verts that are kind of close right here. We can click here. Kind of adjust these while the mirror modifier is turned off. Turn the mirror modifier back on. Let's turn off clipping. So turn the mirror modifier off. Turn it back on. A to D select. We have something here. Go to face select, click this, press X. Let's use faces to delete. I'm going to hold them in the mouse button, rotate the view, shift them in the mouse button, pan the view. Okay, uh, I'm going to hold shift them in the mouse button to pan. I'm going to press A so you can see this. Uh, all of the verts that are in here. So when you look, the, well, I should say triangles. This right now has 6,574 triangles in it. Be aware that if you applied this, this would double because this has a, a, a mirror modifier on it. I'm gonna click here to put a check mark for that clipping. Uh, this will animate very nicely. So when you come out here and you click object mode, you can see, you know, we have some of the detail, but not all of the detail however however what we can do is hold alt press h so now we have our sculpted mesh behind there right uh, to do what i'm going to show you now the optimal way is to go through manually uh do uv unwrapping i'm going to show you the quick way i'm going to left click here drag this to the side i'm going to click here i'm going to select uv image uh, editor with the mesh here selected i'm going to click here Go to edit mode. I'm going to press A to select everything. I'm going to press U. This brings up our UV mapping menu. I'm going to select uh, Smart UV Project. I'm then going to click OK. Uh, and then we can see our UV laid out here. I'm going to click Image, New Image. I'm going to click where it says Name here. I'm going to name this Normal. Then press enter. Yeah, enter to lock that in. I'm going to click here. I'm going to change this to 2048. I'm then going to click here. I'm going to change this to 2048. I'm then going to click OK. Okay, what I'm going to do now is press A to press A to deselect. Then I'm going to click here. Go to object mode. Now I'm going to click here. Scroll down to where we see bake. I'm going to change this so this says normals. I'm then going to, let me pull this out so you can see this. I'm going to put a check mark here next to selected to active. Now what I'm going to do is zoom in. I'm going to click first on the sculpted mesh. So I click that little piece of the sculpted mesh uh, sticking out. I'm now going to hold shift and then click the retopologize mesh. So now I'm letting go of shift. So with the sculpted mesh selected first and then the retopologized mesh selected second, I'm now going to click bake. You can see the progress of uh, the bake happening right there. So right here is the normal map that was uh, baked for us. 
So uh, be aware that when you see this says image and there's this little asterisk sign thing here, this means that uh, it's a good idea to click uh, image and then save as image so that you uh, have uh, this image here. So you don't lose the image when you re if you restart Blender. So I'm going to click image. I'm going to click uh, save as image. I'm going to click um, data documents temp. I'm going to make a folder for this. Uh, other folder that I made inside of the folder I just made textures and then I'm going to click save as image so now when you look here you don't see that asterisk uh, sign because our normal map is saved so now with that normal map what we can do now is we can actually click on our sculpted mesh I clicked on that piece sticking out I can press M and then I can move this sculpted mesh to another layer because we already have the normal from it so now what I can do is, uh, with our mesh clicked on, I'm actually going to hover here, left click here, pull that to the side. So we have just this one. I'm going to zoom back. With this mesh uh, selected on, we can go to uh, materials and then click our texture. We can then click new. And then we can uh, click here. See this normal right there? If the normal didn't pop up there, we could... Uh, click here and just search for that normal. I am going to click here and change this to material. And here you can see there's the normal, but what we're seeing is the colors for the normal. We don't want that. What we want to do is scroll down to where we see this uh, image sampling. This is very important. Make sure you put a check mark here next to normal map. We're going to scroll down more. We're going to take away the check mark next to color, and there we can see our uh, read topologized mesh. And now, when we click here, if I put a check mark here, we can see now here's our read topologized mesh with our normal map on it. And when I hold the middle mouse button, you can see that this mesh, uh, that with a mere modifier applied, is only about 12,000 triangles looks extremely similar to our sculpted mesh. Okay, when you look here, you can see this is where we had the, the difference between our sculpted mesh and our retopologized mesh. So what we can do is left click here, pull this out, click here, go back to our UV image editor. We'll click here, go to edit mode. Click here, we'll load up that normal and see this is that normal right here. You can see that right on the, the uh, wrist there. So we'll click here, we'll go to texture paint. What we can do with this is I'm going to press F to I'm going to press F to shrink the size of my brush. I'm going to hover here, pull this out. This is the strength of the brush. We're going to take this up to one, thinking this is being 100%. Now we're going to hover here. We'll hover right here. We'll press S. And then we'll click here, go to solid view. Zoom in here. I'll hold shift in the middle mouse button, pan. Roll the mouse wheel to zoom in more. So now we'll just color over this. When I press S, I have this camp, this uh, color of the normal map. And now from doing that, when I zoom back and then I click here to go back to the material view you can see now we don't have that anymore we can see the asterisk is back so i'll click image save as image and then save as image okay i'm gonna okay i'm gonna hover here 
left click and drag that to the side like that okay there's multiple ways of doing this this is my current way of doing this uh, this this meshes about with the mirror modifier applied well let's see we'll click here go to object mode we'll click here go to edit mode So you double what you see here. So this is currently uh, with the mirror modifier is 6,574 uh, triangles. So this is a, a nice uh, uh, amount of geometry. This should be very easy for you to animate. This should be able to uh, easily handle for most computers as far as animating this. Okay, guys, that's it for the tutorial. For all of those of you out there who like the videos on this channel, reshare them. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who are new to this channel, if you like the videos on this channel and you would like to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing.